What's up, everybody? Eight days out from Dave Chafee. Two days from now, get on the airplane to go to Dubai. Got some stuff here. Uh, thank you so much for your generosity. As, as uh, I'm going out the door, I wanted to open it up before I got on the plane, just in case there was something that I could bring with me. So, start off with uh, Moritz Schuchart. Oh, from Germany. Okay, Moritz. Danke für dein Geschenk. Let's see what we got in here. Moritz. I remember uh, I used to uh, read a German story, Max und Moritz. And there are these two kids, always up to no good. Always up to no good, these kids were. Max und Moritz. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we got a return parcel here. I should have a mark ready. Um, dear Devin, this is Matt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Max und Moritz writing from Germany. <laughs> First of all, we are great fans of yours and watching every match of yours. You are a really great ambassador to the sport and you have taken the popularity of the sport to a whole new level. You probably hear similar words very often and will forget about us in a few days. It's so funny, Max and Moritz. I won't forget about you guys because I remember Max and Moritz from the time I was a kid. Um, however, what can easily be forgotten is how many individual lives are behind those messages and words. You're you influence so many lives around the world with your positive attitude, and I think that's quite beautiful. Unfortunately, there are no arm wrestling clubs or tournaments in the region where me and my brother live. I can't believe your mom called you guys Max and Moritz. Uh, but we are very more motivated to beat each other, and that's why we keep on training very hard. Hopefully, we will be able to compete someday in real tourney. Contact Kevin Wolf, buddy. He's always got stuff going on in Germany. Especially after seeing Auden's competitions, we are very stoked to do the same one day. Oh, cool. So you guys must be young. Last week, we watched you pull against Gennady, and even though we obviously wanted to see you win, we were really impressed by your strength in the first few rounds when you were hook on hook with the center of the table. You pushed through him, which really amazed us after seeing that. And the questionable referee's decision, we are 100% sure that you will beat Dave and Gennady in the rematch. We will definitely watch it and cheer for you. Last but not least, we wanted to ask you how to deal with that all that pressure. There are so many people that expect so much from you. How do you stay, at least from the outside, so relaxed in competition and hold your nerves? Are you still nervous before your super matches? So I'll just answer that right now because... Um, I, it's actually a bit of advice that I got that uh, I think about a lot. Um, I remember it was the WAL finals in 20, I think it was 20, 2015, I believe. I think it was 2015. I was in the finals. I think it was with Ron Bath, or maybe it was 2016. Sorry, 2016. And a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Uh, a lot of financial pressure at the time. I didn't have a job. Uh, all my money was coming from arm wrestling and uh, financial pressure. And uh, Mike Gould, a longtime buddy of mine, uh, also more like a coach and mentor to myself, he came up to me and he said, you know, Devin, just always remember you do this for fun. He was like, always remember no matter what, you would do this anyways for money or not. You would do you do this. This is what you do for fun, and for me, that's I always kind of come back to that. No matter what I feel, uh, I I do it because I love to do it, and um, yeah, keep things simple in life. Keep things simple, um, and nothing really matters, right? Well, not much matters. Um, 
Nevertheless, we wish you, of course, many more wins and no injuries and hope that you keep your wonderful attitude even in defeat. You inspire us as a person and as an athlete. Could you sign for us those pictures and send some back? The envelope is labeled and stamped. Thank you very much, Tesla. Greetings from Max and Moritz. There you are. Thanks, guys, for the nice letter. Okay, so these pictures, I suppose, are to be signed. Let's rip this. See these pictures. You know what? I'm going to be right back real quick. I'm just going to grab a Sharpie. I think I've got a Sharpie. Hanging around here somewhere. <laughs> Dumping everything all over the place. Bumping my stand there. Yellow, pink, orange, black. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how this works. One, two, three. Uh, let's see. Let's see, what do you think, will pink work? Let's try pink, okay? Hot pink on the back of this. Uh, mm. Okay, well this one was done in pink. Let's try this one in yellow. No, definitely not yellow. Definitely not yellow. I only have so many different Sharpie colors and I, it's tough to um, sign over the top of this. If this is silver, maybe, no. Oh, it's black. Oh, let's see what black does on black. Maybe I'll sign on my arm. That's not good the predicament of not having a silver sharpie okay that worked i'm going back to pink <laughs> pink sparkly signature stay massive and this one i will do regular black oh. thank you so much guys uh, appreciate uh, you guys reaching out into back into the envelope and I will get this stuff off all right, what do we have here? What do we have here? From Amazon. Unknown. Unknown. Oh, wow. Let's see. The World Peace Diet. Eating for spiritual health and social harmony. Oh, that's quite interesting. Hey, Avery, what do you think about that? Eating for world peace. The World Peace Diet. Interesting. Hey? Let's see. It's a little note here. The World Peace Diet. Devin, this book inspired me to be a better me. With an open heart, it may kickstart something wonderful in you, too. You're an incredible arm wrestler, but an even better soul. Love to you and your beautiful family from Alan Kah Kahaney. Alan Kahaney. I'll leave, that, I'll leave that note in the book, Alan. Thank you so much. I actually, I just talked to someone quite... Uh, quite interestingly about insects, insect diet, which I found quite fascinating. But uh, 
yeah, hopefully I'll have time and uh, I'll read that. Diet is always fascinating to me. Um, I've been eating for performance for such a long time, but eating for world peace will be a completely different outlook for me. So, happy to give that a shot. Okay, from, from unknown. protection thank you very nice and simple well everybody needs protection well, I will keep this with me until I no longer need protection I suppose thank you fits wonderful and uh, won't interfere with anything that, that can handle a strap. Huh. Whoever you are, thank you so much. Very touching. From now, I can tell what this is from uh, because I got something very similar to it already. Uh, I think this is the second gripper because I remember last time I said a second gripper was on the way. And this is uh, eBay from Joe Cressy. Yeah, Joe Cressy. Yeah, Joe, I remember you got me one of these before. I've been messing around with it. It's, it's excellent. Excellent grip. Excellent grip tool. Much different than a gripper. This is probably a different resistance level. <laughs> Get that widespread. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Twist that row, 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 row. Spread. Ah. Eight days. Eight days, I haven't even started to rest yet. I've done two trainings already today. I'll probably train some more. I'm still kind of going up and feeling like I'm getting healthier. So I'm just going to keep training. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. Let's see. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, oh, oh man, it came. This. This is not something you guys gave me. This is something I ordered. I'm not going to open it because it's a secret and I'm glad it came in time for Dubai. That's great. The guys who are paying attention know, you'll, you'll probably know. You'll probably know. Michael Avery from Morris. Ville, North Carolina. <laughs> Michael Avery. Michael Avery, that's a name that I recognize. Michael, you are the one who got my kids a hammer, I think. Let's see what we got here, Michael. All sorts of paper okay all right well here we go <laughs> okay <laughs> this is probably a bit late Owen oh, 3 Owen oh, 3 <laughs> oh Opana looks like he's got a sore sore hand there didn't quite work out that time this time but Next time, Michael. Next time. <laughs> Next time, this is how it's going to go, I suppose. I think this is supposed to be Gennady. 
with a, a voodoo, a voodoo Opana doll with a, with a taped up hand. <laughs> Nice. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> got, Very, mm. got some uh, voodoo stuff going. Wow. Is it okay? It's not. You're yelling. Uh, can I just be, I'll just be a bit closer. Try not to yell. Oh, they're shooting downstairs in the basement. So I'll just try and hold my excitement to some kind of a minimum. And don't bang the chairs. Ah, okay, here we go. This is from my buddy Daniel, the Nightmare. Uh, we hung out down in Puerto Rico just recently. What a cool guy. What a great up-and-coming arm wrestler. I think he's got a big match coming up with, uh, oh, what's his name? The guy was on Game of Arms. Anyways, great up-and-coming arm wrestler. The guy kicked ass down in the Puerto Rico tournament. So, I don't know what we got here. Looks like a canvas, so I'm excited. Oh, we had such a good time in Puerto Rico. I'm telling you guys, if you ever get a chance to go to Puerto Rico, go. What a beautiful place. I Okay, this is going to make me sound very ignorant, but I didn't know that Puerto Rico was actually part of the United States. Eh? How silly am I? I didn't know that. You know, sure I'm the only one, but there is a very good chance, and I don't want to announce things too, too early. There's a very good chance I'll be going back there soon. And there's a very good chance that if I do, that it's going to be some big news and be some really fun stuff. So, Dan, what did you get there? I knew it was going to be something like this. Hey, look at that shot. Look at that shot. Dan, Derek, Javier, and Manilo. Hey. These are my buddies that I did most of the trip with down in uh, Puerto Rico. That's us uh, on one of the beaches in Puerto Rico. There were these big cliffs, beautiful big cliffs um, down to the ocean. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful part of the world, man. In Canada, we don't have stuff like that. And the ocean was so warm. Um, you know, I wore my jeans into that ocean and I didn't even want to wash them. I was like, I, I'm going to let this, this water just stay on these jeans until they fall off. You know, and Jody took them and washed them the other day because I'd been wearing them for like three weeks. But, um, what an amazing day. Thank you, brother, for this picture. I'll, I'll remember this always. What a fantastic day I got to share with you guys. Um... I'll see you down there again. There's a, and we've already talked, so you know what's coming. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy, and good luck with everything coming up. Okay. All right, ah, Trent. Trent, yeah, we've been talking. Looks like they opened it, dude. Looks like they opened it up, because uh, I, I don't imagine that you sent it without tape on the top. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there's some customs tape on there. They opened this guy up because it looked so cool that they had to look at it. I think I know what we're dealing with here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, oh, my. Trent. So, Trent has a knife-making uh, gig, I think. So, Trent Brown. I think Brown Custom Works. That's right. Brown Custom Works, handmade, one-of-a-kind, wicked sharp. And he's in Freiburg, Maine, Trenton Brown 305 at gmail.com. Trenton Brown. And that's at Brown Custom Works. So let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> I like, I like, you know, handmade's great, one-of-a-kind, super cool, wicked sharp. I better be careful. Yeah, customs. Customs had to open up the brown custom works knife. Man, this thing is looking nice. Slick. Oh, oh wow. I use this one. Oh, I'm starting to get some good knives. I got a lot of nice knives now. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, this is like borderline sword, I feel like. You know, like this is this is like this is a big knife. This is a big knife. This is a very big knife. This is like a dagger. This is starting to become like a sword. It feels like this is like a badminton handle with a massive blade attached to it. I I I got to touch it, right? I got to feel how it shot. Oh. He was not kidding. I'm touching the top. It's like a freaking razor blade. What the? How is that possible? Okay. For sure I'm going to cut myself. Look at that tape just separating. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He was not... Trent, you were not kidding, dude. How do you make it so freaking sharp? Okay, like this, this is a sharp knife, but I can touch it. Feels like, you know, I can shave with it. This is ridiculous, man. Yeah, I feel, I think I can shave with this thing. Wow. And I feel like if you were to fuck, chop somebody, I think you could chop somebody's arm off with this. I'm going to put this over top of my door. So if anybody comes over, Habri is ready to... <laughs> like this. <clears throat> wow, Trent. That's uh, it's quite an instrument. Thanks, buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful knife. Beautiful stuff. Put the tip on this thing. Okay. Mark Fedor Sizik. We got a t shirt. T shirt coming. Let's see what we got. This is from. Oh, this is from Dr. Mark. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, well, these are my guys. These are my guys. Vitacell. Vitacell. Get stem cells. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I, uh, I can't go on about stem cells enough. I can't go on about how much they've helped me. Uh, I'm such a massive believer in stem cells. Uh, I'm trying to push on to like learn about ev any, everybody. I feel like the field of regenerative medicine is enormous. I, I have a feeling that, that this, um, this type of medical practice is going to completely revolutionize, you know, the way we look at, uh, aging, performance, uh, injuries. I, I have a feeling that it is going to completely change all of these things. Um, right now it's, it's expensive stuff, but I think if we look like 15 years into the future, uh, regenerative medicine, stem cells, exosomes are going to, I am very optimistic with what I, what I dream that they can do. Like when I dream about stem cells and when I really think about what's possible, like I think that we are looking at some incredible ways to improve human life, well-being, performance. Exciting stuff. Thanks Fight Yourself for all your support. You guys are absolutely the best. Uh, can't say enough good things about all the people involved with Fight Yourself. Okay, this is from Amazon. So hopefully there's a note in here. Oh, oh, it's like you don't even feel anything. There's no resistance. There's no resistance with that thing. Wow, let me just do a quick comparison. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, 
There's no note, man. There's no note. Oh, wait, no. Fun and ton. Fun a ton. So fun a ton. But it doesn't really say who it's from. Fun, fun a ton. Somebody just being a good guy and getting me a couple, uh, couple chicken, um, chicken slingshots. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how these work. I mean, I'm already imagining some fun I can have with these. I guess you just put them on your finger. Your thumb. And you shoot them. I bet you I could knock the camera right off here. I don't know. All right. Oh, yeah. See that? It's still a sniper, right? I'll try one more time. See if I can go two for two. Probably I'm going to turn the camera off or something. I think this, these guys... Oh, well, one one for two. Uh, maybe I'll bring these to the press conference with Dave and throw chickens at them. Whoever did that, thank you so much. Watch the press conference. That'll be for you. Last shot here. Hits memorabilia. North Syracuse. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Three hundred count. I don't know. This look like cards, maybe. Look like maybe sports cards. Let's see. What could it be? What could it be? Oh my God. What is this? Oh, okay. I know what this is. Good thing I opened it. Good thing I did this. Wow, okay, so look at that. Right here you have the king of the table cards. One, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oh, seven, eight. One, two, oh, hold on. One, three. One, three. Oh, okay, there's two. One, two, three, four, five six okay so what we have here is 15 king of the table signed cards and i bought cards from uh i bought cards from the last king of the table i've got a levon rookie card i think that's super cool yeah i i spent the money i got a levon rookie card upstairs i don't think i have it down here yeah, I think I've got it upstairs hidden away in my little safe. But yeah, I used to collect cards when I was a kid, and now yeah, I have all I have all the cards from arm wrestling. I have uh, every single East versus West um, series that's ever come out. I have uh, select cards from King of the Table, and now here I got to sign these. So I imagine these will be for sale on the on the East. Uh, sorry. On the king of the table thing and I will looks like they want me to do it in blue and put them in these things and I'll bring them to Dubai with me yeah okay well there we have it thank you so much for your time this evening ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your generosity all you great people all around uh, all around the world it means a ton to me um, I'm so thankful for all the gifts and all the love I receive. Uh, 
And now, if anybody messes with me. <laughs> All right. Uh, two days from now, I'm on a plane. Going to kick Dave Chafee's ass. Tune in. Good times. And, of course, uh, stay massive, everybody.